Exactly, but before all of that business news now with Nona Peltier in the Auckland studio beside me, building consents for uh, April, Nona? Yes, that's right. They're down, but... You know, that could be because we had Easter and we also had the Anzac Day um, holiday. And so as a result of that, permits weren't issued. Could be that that's the reason. Are they down on the previous month or down year on year? Uh, they're down month by month right. is the okay. way that they work. But actually, seasonally adjusted, they also fell. So, uh, wait a minute. Permits fell. Yeah, they were okay. down. Yes, <laughs> they did fall. So, yeah, I guess uh, the the economists looking at this uh, industry is not not reading too much into it. Although some are saying, look, capacity is at a, at a high level there. We don't have a lot of space. There's a lot of um, jobs that are not uh, being filled. It's the same old story it's every a, month, it, isn't it? it? But, and the government keeps saying the answer is the supply side, right? The answer to the housing crisis is the mm. supply side. So they would be wanting to see building permits up, surely, wouldn't well, they? Yeah, you'd think. But, yeah. you know, building permits are one thing, but it's the building themselves that's the issue. And no, we're not building enough houses fast enough to meet the demand. And that's underpinning the economic growth of this country in any case. Uh, so, you know, there's a lot of jobs out there. There's, uh, I was talking to a fellow from uh, AWF uh, earlier, I guess this week, or maybe it was last week. It seems like it's a big blur now. We've had a lot of companies reporting, which is yeah, going to lead very yeah. nicely into our next segment there. But he was saying that, they, that that company is working with other companies to train up young people in New Zealand to do some of these jobs instead of just bringing in migrants. But that's what they're doing right now to bring in, um, you know, the, the skilled staff necessary to build these houses and not just houses, hotels and you name it. So, yeah, lots of construction going on. Uh, you're talking about results. Main Freight was among them? Yeah, Main Freight was the big one today. Uh, of course, they're the biggest transport company in New Zealand, and people tend to look at them as a signal of how well the economy is going because, of course, transport. And uh, if you're looking at uh, Main Freight, they're definitely doing well. Their um, profit rose 16%, which is pretty uh, healthy, to $101.5 million, which is also quite healthy. Uh, their revenue was up 2%, so they're obviously doing better at making a profit, turning a profit. So, wow. Yeah. So profit up 16, revenue up 2. Yeah, revenue up 2%, exactly. Yeah. But, you know, $2.33 billion. Gosh. That's a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, their share price moved up uh, 1%. It was a different story for Orion Health, one of the other big companies that reported today. Not so good for them. They made a smaller loss, but the market didn't like it. Dropped their share price down 13%. And what did the market do overall? Mixed overall, for actually, those yeah. it was little change. We've had a holiday in the United States, and the UK had a holiday too. Spring bank holiday. I don't know exactly what happens with that. But anyways, the market was down 8 points to 7,412. Uh, the New Zealand dollar was just a touch weaker. I mean it, just a touch. I don't know where Giles is, but it's not a tad, just a touch there. 70 and a half U.S. cents, 94.9 Australian and 55 pence. Nona Peltier, our business reporter here in Auckland. Thank you so much, Nona.